Hi, everybody. It's meteorologist Joe Chaffee. We're going to take you through the GFS, but before I do, there's just a, a couple of things I want to say uh, about the overall pattern. And, you know, a lot of folks over the last number of days were looking at indexes, including myself, and you see these, you know, negative NAO bat values, the uh, big blocking that's going on and, and everything else, and you say, well, you know, you have all these signals, so there has to be an East Coast storm, and that's wrong. Um, you know, you have people saying that, oh, it's just like, you know, this year or this this past year or this this particular year or this particular pattern, and that's wrong. And the reason it's wrong is because nothing is ever exactly the same uh, in in uh, in the atmospheric pattern. There is always something that makes some makes these events a little bit different both on the small scale and in the long scale. And I'm going to show you what the problem is here with regards to what's going to happen later in the week. And the other models are coming around to this idea. And I think for once, the GFS may have been the first one that's on to something. I'm not going to uh, wait for the European because that comes in too late. I'll review it in the morning, but I'd be shocked if the European comes in any differently. And here's the problem. Okay. So there's our system. This is what came through today. Here's the one for Tuesday, which on this run digs a little more. And I think that there could be that cheap thrill period of snow or snow showers that whitens the ground or maybe leaves a local inch in a few places uh, in the region. And then that lifts out. So now you have the blocking high with the low in the 50-50 position. But let me back it up. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed this, but watch this whole complex and watch what happens to the upper low. You have it one going into the blocking position, but it's rotating around and a new one forms back through Hudson's Bay. So what happens is here's that southern system. You see that right there? Now watch what happens when it gets toward the Mississippi Valley. That vortex comes around and picks it up and swings it northeastward up into the Great Lakes. And the 50-50 low is now pushed out to the east, even though you have strong blocking still going on across Greenland. So you can have all these things telling you that uh, we have measures of uh, readings at extreme levels that point to an east coast storm. And what happens? You wind up with a Great Lakes storm. And this is the the reality of weather. It just, it's it's, not that so much that it isn't an exact science, the physics and the science and the thermodynamics are exact, but it's a fluid science. That is, we're forecasting a change. We're trying to forecast change, and that change itself is changing, if you follow my logic here. So I'll show you how this plays out at the surface, uh, because that's where you can see it better in terms of... Uh, the development and the low. So I'm going to switch over now to the surface map and you can take, you can see how this all plays out and we'll back it up. And okay, there's a, this is our front that just came through. This is the one for Tuesday and you can see that the model does show some snow here across New Jersey, down even into Northern Delaware, Eastern Pennsylvania, Long Island, Connecticut. Again, I'm thinking maybe um, you know, if there's some activity after the Arctic front goes by in the deep trough that you can wind up with, you know, coating to an inch or so, and then that pulls out. Then because you have, here's already a low in southern Kansas. I mean, it almost, the surface almost looks like what we just had on Saturday, where we had a, a low that went out well to the east with just a little bit of moisture near the coast. No cold air at all, really. And we have a deep low that goes up to Green Bay. This is the southern system that the European, that the models just two days ago couldn't even make a storm with. And then you had the European trying to make a big storm out to, out to the east. And then it sort of pulled it back to the west. And now look what's happening. You're actually going to take that southern stream energy and make a storm that's going to go up uh, into the Great Lakes. And then that goes by. And then after that, it's just cold and dry. Uh, at least it, it shows it to be cold and dry during the 10-day period, except as we get during the end, there's a little low that comes out off the southeast coast, and there's so much cold air here overwhelming that it's probably going to go out. And then there's another one behind it. So you can see the problem here. It, there's just 
too much going on in too many different places, regardless of whatever uh, blocking that we have. Uh, it's the it, the atmosphere is just not not right. It just simply is not right. Now let's give you the broader view. We'll go out and show the whole Atlantic uh, because this will give you another another picture of um, what's going on aloft. And I'll switch it over here to the upper air. And we'll back it up just a little bit. And you can see it there. You can see how that system that goes through makes the 50-50 low. And you've got this, this almost figure eight here with this second vortex that comes around. There's that southern system. And it's already tilted north-south. And when it's tilted north-south already, it's getting ready to swing up this way. And here comes that vortex that reforms picks it up and takes it right up to the Great Lakes and you're done. Now, the only major difference in this GFS run that I've noticed and whether this means anything or not down the road, who knows, but the model was trying to break down the block uh, to, to a large degree uh, by the seven to 10 day period. And this model does not do that. It is not uh, breaking this down at all. So it is leaving a strong uh, blocking pattern through the 10 day period where the models previously were weakening this for a while and then making it reappear perhaps further down the road but it is holding it together so it does perhaps open the door for something you know further down but I have to tell you you know judging from all of this it looks it, it really doesn't look very encouraging at all through the next week to 10 days <clears throat> now unless the European comes in and says something totally different but I can tell you that up that right now the um, the Canadian model, the uh, UK met, the uh, British model, they all seem to be on the side of the GFS. So if the European is different, it's going to stand alone. Won't be the first time if that happened. I'd be surprised if it did. But let's wait and see what it shows. And in the meantime, uh, I will report on this uh, in the morning.